tail of the tape, both youngsters, both still up and comers, both believe at one point they will be champions. But tonight is a great main event here on Spike TV between Diego Sanchez and Nick Diaz. All right, guys, you receive your instructions inside the locker room. Step back. You receive your right. inside the locker room. Driving. Any questions from you, Diego? Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Step back. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Bad blood right away. Bad blood. And we have great anticipation for Diego against Diaz. Move yourself over. Move yourself over. Let's go. Are you ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Come on. Time to stop talking, boys. Time to send your message. Who will send it, Diaz or Sanchez? Diego in the gold trunks, Diaz in the black oh, trunks. Oh, Diego's got his back. Not good for Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is rolling into a leg bar, though. Diego's past his guard. Nick puts him back in guard. Oh, trying to throw down the haymaker. And Diaz able to move aside. Diaz has an excellent guard. He submitted Jeremy Jackson from his guard. He is dangerous. He has a brown belt in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Started with the Gracies at age 16, six plus years ago. Diego misses. Diego is relentless in his attacks. We saw it throughout the Ultimate Fighter season one. We've seen it in the octagon since. His debut at 170 pounds against Brian Gassaway. Watch your face. Nick Diaz got some long, lanky legs. No question. And a good guard. Diego's in half guard now. Good elbows from the bottom. Diego really has good ground and pound. Uh, he's ruthless. I mean, his ground and pound stoppage of Brian Gassaway was oh. vicious. Did the same Look thing at this. to... Koscheck and Rafferty, Karolexis and Florian. Nice elbow. Good kicks from the bottom by Diaz, but nice elbow by Diego. Diego is driven by a strong inner piece. Look at the flexibility of Nick Diaz. Did he catch him at all, Joe? It doesn't look like it. Not yet. Nothing hard. Diego spinning to the back. If he can get pace. over under control, if he can get his We're left hand inside of the left side of Nick Diaz's head. Up, oh, Nick's over, reversed it. Nick's got a hold of a leg now. He's going to take Diego down. All right, a frenetic pace to the beginning of this fight. Diego's looking for Kimura on Nick's right arm. Nick's got the right arm free now. Good job by Nick Diaz. Now he's got Diego inside control. And Diego scrambles. Oh, Diego spins out nicely. Wow. wow, you can see the anger fueling both of these men. The hatred for each other. The disregard that Diaz has for the meteoric rise of Diego Sanchez. Oh, nice what knee by Diego. Diego. Oh, excellent change of levels. I like how he did that. Shot in. Now he's got his back. You got to be careful. He's got to be careful here. He's out. Good punches from the bottom by Nick Diaz. And good punches from the top by Diego. Diego doing a great job of stacking them. Ah. Oh, that that Nick one. Diaz has to realize one. Diego Sanchez deserves to be here now. Yep. Well, Diego very overwhelming with his pacing so far in the fight. He's an animal. This kid is a pit bull. There's very few fighters as relentless as Diego Sanchez. Diego be missed that time. He's going to be careful. Break a hand right yeah. there. Absolutely. You and I thought the same thing. Side by each. Missed again. Coming down with a full force hitting the, the, the matting, the, the floor underneath the matting in the octagon a couple of times. Nick's got an arm. He got it through. Wow. Good ground and pound by Diego Sanchez. Diaz doesn't seem really stunned yet, though. No, he's not. Diego's looking to pass now. He's in half guard. A 
I'll tell you what, this is an incredible pace, Joe, that Diego's ha. keeping right now. It's by, by both men, and it's actually even more difficult for Nick Diaz because he's carrying Diego's weight. Diego's stacking him and putting a lot of weight on him, making it difficult for him to breathe, making him move his legs constantly, making him move to avoid punches. Oh, he caught a the kick there. Diego with a smile on his face. Oh, he's passed. Side control for Diego. A little mouse no. underneath the right eye of Nick Diaz. Whoa. Nick Diaz is doing a really good job of regaining guard. Well, that's that jiu-jitsu training. Absolutely. I mean, Caesar Gracie has one of the best camps in the country. And Nick Diaz is one of his prize students. We all learned about the effects of Gracie jiu-jitsu well over a decade ago. And now we continue to gain momentum here in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Good first round for Diego Sanchez. Wow. Well, I'm gonna guess uh, both fighters have a little bit more respect for each other after that first five minutes. Without a doubt. Second round of our main event of the evening. Uh-oh, Diaz with a slip. Not good. But right back up. Nick would like to work the hands a little bit. Keep this on the feet for a little while, I think, Joe. Yeah, Nick has some excellent hands. Avoids the takedown. Diego's going to look for the takedown real quickly. He was able to gain it and ground and pound in round one. Diego Does it has again. a great shot. Very quick. Waited for the commit of the combination. Ducked underneath the thrown punches and got to the legs. Nick Diaz's guard. Nick throwing some punches. That's the way to slam send him a message. Pick him up and throw him right back down. This has been Diego's fight so far. Oh, Diego with the ground and pound. He's looking to pass. He's got to be careful. Diego has oftentimes claimed there never has been nor never will there be anyone like me, and he's still evolving as a fighter at 23 years old. These guys both have a, a huge future ahead of them. I mean, this could be a rivalry that, that spans quite a few fights. <laughs> Nick Diaz is starting to bleed. Dude, these, are, these guys are in the same weight classes. Hughes and Riggs and St. Pierre, for goodness sakes. I mean, it's, that's a phenomenal stacked weight class. Diego's got his back. Nope, he rolled. Nick Diaz is doing a great job of rolling out of that. Diego always goes to get his back. Nick recognizes it and spins out of it. And reclaims guard again. Diego always talks about losing being the worst thing there is in life. There's nothing worse than losing. He used to have nightmares about losing. Now he says he has dreams of being the nightmare in his opponent's eyes. And he is so far here tonight with Nick Diaz. Aptly nicknamed. He's got Nick stuffed up against the fence now. This is bad for Nick. There's not as much room to move around or avoid punches. TV star for a reason, Nick Diaz is finding out. But it doesn't mean Nick can't Good defeat him still. Bottom, yep, excellent kick from the bottom. Now he's paying for it. Two minutes, 10 seconds remains in our second round. Fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Don't forget, two weeks from tonight, UFC 56, Matt Hughes and Rich Franklin, both in title fights, live on pay-per-view, MGM Grand Garden Arena. Diaz has to reverse the fortunes here, Joe. What can he do? Well, he's got to try to figure out some way to sweep him or stand up, which is he's doing right here. He's got to hold up Diego's leg. This is good for him. He's got to keep driving forward and roll Diego over onto his back. Nope, Diego's too strong. Diego what a keeps great space night of competition. Oh. Nice knee. Right, Nate. Oh, Diego's got the bounce. Now this is trouble. Nice flexibility by Nick Diaz, who rolls into a leg lock. Now he's on top. Look at the battle we oh, have on the The octagon. What a fight.
Diego throwing an elbow from the bottom. Diaz is the real deal, brother. They are both the real deal. These guys are very evenly matched. Although I do have Diego winning so far. Let's see how Diego works with his back against the mat for the first time. Diaz trying to pass, and Diego spins out of it. Who's going to gain control here? The knee. Wow. Bloodied up is Diaz. Combination. Diego has proven so far to be better at taking Nick down and better at holding him down. Well, every time, and it hasn't been very often, but the couple of times that Diaz went with the combination, Joe, Diego ducks under, goes for the shoot, and he's successful bringing the fight down to his land. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Good kick from the bottom by Nick Diaz. Bang, right on the button. Really stunned Diego there. That was an excellent kick. And you see Diaz going for that leg lock. Spins around and gets on top. Five more oh, minutes. Three. Five more minutes. All right. Now you've been doing more than five minutes every day. You've been doing rocks. You've been doing five minutes a month. You have five minutes and you shock the world. Five more minutes and you show the man upstairs. Stitch right here, this little guy, just a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. Get away from the shoot, right? Nick. Nick Diaz bleeding a little bit from the mouth. Set for the third and final round. Here we go, last round, you ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Let's go, come on. How long can Nick keep it on the feet here? Oh, big left hand by Nick Diaz. Jab. Wow, looking right for that shoot on the counter is Sanchez again. Yeah, Diego's very explosive with that. Oh, man. Dangerous spot there. Almost could have eaten a big-time knee. Yeah, Nick is going to keep him up. Good sprawl by Diaz. Wow. And he avoids again. This is going to get frustrating and tiring Nick, for Diego. Diego is and bleeding now Diego's now. bleeding. But Diego's down goes down. Diaz. So hard to stop Diego's takedowns. He's bleeding a lot. It's hard to see where the cut is from this position, but there's a lot of blood all over the stomach of Nick Diaz. It's coming out of Diego's face. We said this would be the toughest test of his young career. It certainly has been so far. So far, this has been the toughest test of both of their young careers. I agree. Diaz lost one time inside the octagon. That was to Carl Parisian, who was, before injury, supposed to fight Matt Hughes in a title fight. And Diego has never lost in his mixed martial arts career, 15 and 0. Yeah, Diego's bloodied up, Joe. Oh, Diego closes quickly. But they're back on their feet with three minutes and 15 seconds. Good job remaining by Diego. In the round. He's, got, he's got the back. He's got his back. If he, you know, he's got double underhooks. What he needs to do is get an over-under. Get one on the up side, one up top, and one underneath so he can really control his upper body and keep from sliding as much. He's choosing instead to try to mount. Diaz trying to bring it back to guard. Diaz has got an excellent guard, very slippery. You know, the one thing, because Nick wanted to be the striker, we haven't seen the jiu-jitsu. We've seen it here tonight. It's excellent. And Nick Diaz is a very well-rounded fighter. What a night we've had here on Spike TV. Diego's got the head locked here. Look for him to throw some knees from this position. Nick is going to try to take him down. He's got him. This Good truly job by Nick is. Diaz. Nick Diaz is bleeding like crazy all over Diego. This truly is, Joe, as real as it gets. 
Yeah, it does, this is a fight. Wow, Diego has a bad cut over his right eyebrow. Big John McCarthy's looking in on it. I don't know if he's gonna stop it. He just ate an elbow there. Uh, it would be a shame if this fight was stopped because of that. Diego's gotta do something to get out of this position. That's a bad cut. And if Nick keeps Diaz dropping with the elbows on it, it's gonna get worse. Nick Diaz really needs to put some pressure on here, though, because good, one can make the argument Diego won the Diego first two rounds. Good job by Diego utilizing the fence, and he locks up an arm bar. Nick Diaz is in a lot of trouble. Let's see what Nick can do here. 92 Diego's seconds remains. Arm. Nick's free. They're He's so out of danger. They're so slippery now, Joe. It's very difficult to hold on to an arm in that position, but it was close. Diego's up, and he reverses him. Diaz wow, controlling what, what round three so on far. The ground. I mean, what a beautiful exchange of position. For people who don't appreciate grappling, if you don't really understand the subtle nuances of what's going on here, I mean, these are two guys who really have an excellent ground game. Attacking and reversing each other. 51 seconds remains. Wow, to keep this pace up for 15 minutes, absolutely incredible. Diego still swinging for the fences. Diego dropping bombs from the top. He's having a really hard time of getting past that guard, though. Nick has done a great job of keeping Diego in his guard. 20 seconds remains. Diego trying to finish with a flurry. Diego's gonna try to pass. He's got side, he's got half guard. But as soon as he gets anywhere, Nick is so slippery with his legs. He's so good at reclaiming guard. Once again, we will render the judge's decision. Who has won our main event of the evening, Diego Sanchez or Nick Diaz? Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Diego Nightmare Sanchez!